commentating. All right, here we go. Winners, semi finals. We got Chef Sizzlemore, who's kind of come out of the scene lately, and he's been tearing things up. He just beat Wyatt in bracket, but now he's probably facing his toughest opponent. Yeah, you didn't see that happen. Are you that surprised anymore? This man, dude, this man is top, like top three now. I think we just need to accept that. But this is probably the hardest opponent he's had to face up until this point. So, <clears throat> which I mean, we're no slouches by any means, but there's definitely better players out there. Than us. We're just chilling, playing some games, you know? But do not count us out. We're still pretty good in our own right. We can make things happen. And you know who else can make things happen? Chef the sizzle more. But things, but things are going pretty even right now. Yeah. They're kind of just testing the waters a bit, figure each other out. That, that smash is going to take the first stop for Gary. That weak air off the stage from Chef almost hit, and it would have put Gary in the next spot. Yeah. It's good he has the uh, awareness to possess it. Yeah, Chef Sizzlemore's game sense is just... I think the thing that sets him apart from other people in SFSU. Like, he just has... Oh! Oh, they have the seat right there. <laughs> just held the blunderbuss, because why not? Wait, did, did he shoot it and then drop it and re bring it out again? Yeah, if you if you shoot the cannonball, uh, it, it takes some time to get back, but you can still... Uh, do the back, yeah, keep the vacuum out on it. And it's a it's a good thing to go for at the ledge because I mean there's really no uh, risk to it because you're at, at a safe distance. They can't get a attack because well, they'll suck you up. So it's just I mean they can wait it out, but like there's just there's no risk. Like you risk nothing for a potential good reward. But um, I don't know if you saw that. It literally Tech in place. Tech towards the ledge. So it might have caught rolling. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, this is looking like a legend visibility. Yeah, this is looking like a pretty dominant game so far. Oh man. I'll throw him because he's gonna follow up on that. No. Yeah, I see Gary go from that ledge jump all the time. Game one, I got a two stock. Dude, I'm starting to lose my voice already. Jesus, I gotta go get a water. We just started. Speaking of thing, just started. We just started this game, and Chef Sizzlemore is already at 108. Yeah. Also, one thing I've noticed in that first game that you yourself go for a lot is a lot of ledge trumps. It's like they they are so good if you can land them. It's good if your opponent is ready for them. But if they're ready for them, they can influence the stretch and go a lot. So they're good, but they're not as good as they once were. So. Yeah, I feel like a lot of us are prepared for it. We yeah. see it coming because we're playing against you a lot. That's a good angle on the up Option for the up instead of the uh, side B. Um, oh, another back off stage. He's got a good edge guard opportunity. Oh, yep, there's that weak nair that you were talking about. It took him on the early stock. If I'm in shifts as a board, we take them. Happily, we take those. Yeah, shifts as a board definitely needed that trade there. Spot oh, there with the hitbox. You'd love to see it. 
grab. Yeah, he's timing those grabs really well. It's, it's like you need to do it in this matchup. No way! Oh. He's out of his mind! And he's, he's out of his mind! <laughs> what is going on? Let's go! This is definitely the, the back and forth set I wanted it to be. Yeah, for sure. Because I didn't really know what to expect going in this set. But I'm pretty happy with what I'm seeing. Yeah, for sure. Oh, Gary's advantage state is just so strong. Yeah. Okay, we're just gonna survive a little bit longer. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna see a lot of back just coming out now. The run up round. <coughs> he times that grab exactly when he needs to, every time. Yeah, Bam. Yeah, he's been going for the, Every time he's gone for that high recovery, he's gotten punished for it. Favorite, but very good games. We've seen. I'm with how it's going. We've seen Chef Sizzle more reverse 3-0 players before. True. Wait, that you? Oh, I, that, that might have been both of us. Oh, oh sick. But so it's possible. Yeah, I feel like uh, Seth is at his best when he's down. Very true. Like. It just seems like whenever, you know, he's up against the ropes, that's when he really turns on the gas. Yeah. Let's see if he'll be able to do that here, though. We have faith in our boy. It's too old. Too old here. Uh, going to FD. I think this is a good pick. I agree. No platform for Wolf to extend his combos off of. He gives K-Roll more control of the space. Can, can F tilt really contest with K when he's going to be at the ledge? This character, so. this character's kind of broken. Another ledge trump, this can be really great. Oh, first of all, we're going to avoid the uh, lack of a mentality. Oh, uh, flank. F tilt flanks. And now it looks like you can. Oh. Oh, it was good. Oh, okay. Here's, okay. One thing that I've noticed about like Seth and Alzoid. Their ledge trapping, I feel like it's unmatched yeah. with anybody here. Yeah. Like, it's just so good. True. Like, they just force you to pick whatever option they want. Like, then they're just super good at covering that. Like, Gary's advantage stage is going dumb right now. Yeah. Chef's just like, you just can't get anything strung together. Going back to him off stage. So I, is that gonna do it? No, oh, no. Oh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I was gonna say, there's not much Chef Susan could have done there because he had to go for the up B, but he was, like, he was just like, hold up, you're not safe. Yeah. It's not over until I say it's over. Oh, yeah, I was a really good read on the whip grab. What, what, what do you do when a character like Wolf is standing away from you and jump? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, my. Yeah. True combo, <laughs> especially true on K-Rule. Um, there was a lot of moments in there, I was like, oh, that's good. That was, that was good. Yeah, you're next, Jake. You gotta play that guy next. Right now? Or? Not right now, but you will soon. Like, we will see what happens. I need some prayers for the board. Yeah, well, Chef Sizzle more will go down the losers where there's no doubt he will make a run. Which is terrifying. So. We'll see him then. Yep. 